Hey, what's happening? Hey guys, it's Eric Becker, naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Thanks for tuning in. Talking about a bit of a sensitive topic today. So I'm going to talk about jockage and having sex with you know your partner. So uh, might be a bit uneasy for some guys to talk about this kind of topic, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. In the early days of my practice, I worked with a medical practitioner, a gay medical practitioner, in fact, I'll be honest with you. Um, but I had a great relationship with this guy in the clinic, and I saw lots of different kinds of patients. I also saw lots of straight males, I saw lots of gay males, I saw lots of lesbians and you know straight women. But the thing is, I, I, I talk with a lot of patients about uh, sex. I mean, you know, I'm one of these practitioners who talk about patients about everything, okay? So... Sexual relations is an important part of our relationships with people. Whether we are straight or gay, I don't care. I don't look at a person's sexuality. I look at the person, to be honest, okay? Now, to be honest with you, I've dealt with a lot of people with um, STDs in the past, with venereal warts, um, you know, with chlamydia, with herpes, uh, but also with candida yeast infections, okay? Now, I can tell you something. If you've got jock itch as a guy or vaginal infection as a woman, there's one thing I want you to take uh, uh, to really think about. It's easy to pass a candida yeast infection from one person to another. All right, it is possible. We can't really say that a uh, yeast infection of the private area is a sexual transmitted disease, but it can be transmitted sexually. It certainly can, and I've seen this with many of my patients in the past. So if you're a guy and you're a jockage, and you've got a girlfriend or a wife, you know, or, or a partner, um, and you, you're, you're a bit worried about it, then you really need to take precautions because you can move uh, this tinea infection from one person to another. It certainly can happen. So we're talking about tinea crudis or jock itch. It can happen. Okay? So... It's not easy to move like, I mean, toenail fungus from one person to another, you know, unless you're doing some, you know, unusual things. But you can certainly pass a genital uh, um, yeast infection from one person to another, okay? It can be done, and I've heard it done. I've talked to many patients who have moved these infections from one person to another, and it's not a pleasant thing to do. So what do you do? Do you put on a condom? Is it going to make any difference if you've got a yeast infection around the rectal area or the scrotum, do you think a condom is going to help? Probably not, okay? Oral sex probably is not uh, quite the same as having, you know, uh, sex in other ways, genital sex. But if you've got jock itch, especially if it's really bad, you need to be pretty good with hygiene and think carefully what you're doing here, okay? Because you can move these infections across. And my recommendations are, if you've got quite bad jock itch, is to try and clear it up as much as you can, you know, and take precautions when you're having sexual intercourse because you can move these infections across. Try and do the right thing by your partner. Try and improve your gastrointestinal health and also your, your, your local health, you know, uh, in that region. You can read a lot more in Candida Crusher uh, about how to avoid transmission of a jock itch infection from one person to another. And it's certainly possible to do, okay? It may be a bit more difficult than casual sex, but if you're in a, in a committed relationship like I am, think about your partner more carefully. Uh, you know, Be open and honest with your partner. Talk about these sort of things. And make sure you get the right kind of treatment. Go to yeastinfection.org and look at the treatment. And please do my yeast infection quiz. I want you to nail this thing, okay? It's not fair on your partner if you don't talk about jock itch and you transfer it from your partner, whether your partner's male or female, you know. You really need to, uh, to be serious about this and get on top of it. Jock itch can be fixed up, and if you follow my treatment methods, you can nail this thing in three to six months, okay. I've helped a lot of patients just like you to nail this thing. It's an awful condition. I had it myself, but it can be nailed, all right. So take my advice. Go to yeastinfection.org. Do my quiz. And do the right thing by your partner if you're in a sexual relationship. Thanks for tuning in.